We're having a slumber party. Slumber party. We're filming a video today with our two Australian friends. Well, okay, first of all, you guys already know Sam, so whatever. But we are filming a video with our two Australian friends. Introduce yourselves. I'm Georgia. I'm Lily. Hi. Where's your sister? Yeah, they're sisters, and we love them. They have two separate channels, which are going to be linked below. We filmed a video over on her channel, on her channel, and on Sam's channel. A vlog on Sam's channel. Today, we are going to be quizzing each other on terms from our countries. This whole idea started because we were driving in the car. I'm not gonna get into it, but there's this huge rock in Australia. I knew nothing about it and they are like triggered that me and Sam knew nothing about this rock. It's not this rock. It's okay, called Uluru. It's called Uluru. And it's also like what Australia like is, is, known, is for. known for. I'm surprised your government doesn't tell you about That's... these things. Like it's not your fault that you yeah. don't know. I thought we learned about the seven Well clearly you don't. <laughs> we get it six. I guess. And one of them is talking. We've been fighting about Uluru all day. Yeah. Okay. Like Great Wall Promise. of China wasn't one of the original Seven Wonders of the World. Yeah, to be honest, I, I don't give a goddamn fuck about the Wonders of the yeah, World. Yeah, let's- McDonald's is all of the wonders that I eat, so. <laughs> I think, you know, obviously, like, American, like, media and stuff is, like, really big, so I think you guys are gonna know a lot of the ones we have. I think so, because we grew up on American TV. I'm banking that you didn't grow up on Wisconsin. That's no, I true. agree. Anyway, let's get to it! New York. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, my throat was itching. My tonsils. Sorry, you don't know anything about it. I can do a really good Jennifer Coolidge impression. I'm taking the dog. Alright, first word. Chockers. Chockers. Those are sandals. No, chockers. 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 Those are pants. Chocker block. Chocker block. When you say Wait. something's like, oh, it's chocker block. Can bullshit. I use it in a sentence? She said it was bullshit. It's not bullshit. You said chocker block. In a sentence, it would be, God, it's chocker block in here. Cold. It's hot as fuck. Hot? It's what? fucking cold? What are you locking in? <laughs> chocker block, you think, means hot. Chocker block. Yeah, like, oh, God, it's like it's chockers. It's chockers. It's, it's crazy as thing. fuck. It's busy. Busy. Yeah, busy. yeah, it's crazy. It's crowded. It's like, crowded. It's chockers. Heat. It just means like there's heaps. To be honest, I still don't know what the fuck they're saying. Chock a block. It you could be heaps of people, like oh like this burger's chockers. Like it's just so many layers <laughs> to the burger. So chunky too. Chunky, yeah, yeah. but chockers. But chunky but also busy. Busy and, and chunky. There it is. What about avo? Avocado. No. Oh. Wait, can I get a spelling? Okay, that was <laughs> such a good guess. That was a good guess, but that's avo. I think we told you this one today. I retain zero in Arvo. Fast Arvo. Arvo. Okay. Fast bike. Well, I have no context right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get coffee this Arvo? Afternoon! Yeah! Okay, I have a good one. I have a good one. Ready? Okay. Chook? Chook. Chook. <laughs> chook. Chook. We don't have that mouth chook. movement. When you go to the shops, can you pick me up a chook? Oh, a big apple. What the fuck? Literally. <laughs> let's let's step away from the not produce. Let's step away from the produce. When you go to the shop, can you pick me up a big chalk? Can you pick me up a chalk? Can you pick me up a, a barbecue, barbecue chalk? chalk? A chicken. Man. A shish kebab. What the you fuck is a shish kebab? So a, a chalk is a chicken, like a, a barbecue chicken. A Wait a minute, you guys are Australian. You don't know what a shish kebab is? A shish kebab. Hold one. This video is going to be sponsored by. You guessed it, good old faithful Green Chef. It's not a surprise at this point. If you're new here and you don't know, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company. It really helps me live a clean and healthier lifestyle, but not just my lifestyle. They have meal kits for literally everyone, keto, paleo, vegetarian, vegan, Fast and fit, Mediterranean, and of course, gluten-free. When these meal kits are sent to your house, they're sent right to your front door, and all of the ingredients are pre-cut, pre-portioned, the sauces are pre-made. It literally cannot get any easier than that. For someone who doesn't know how to cook, I am making like Chef Ramsay approved meals, allegedly. That is 
Those are my words. I don't know if Chef Ramsay would actually approve of my cooking, but I have a way more of a chance of him approving it thanks to Green Chef, okay? I love that Green Chef provides something fun for Zach and I to do after he gets home from work. It's a bonding experience. It really is because we're cooking meals that we would never ever make if it wasn't for Green Chef. It's really introducing so many new recipes into our life that we do continue ordering from Green Chef. We love it. And just a little drop of information, every single customer gets a free session with their registered dietitians. So if that's something that tickles your fancy, what are you waiting for? I think it's time to start your journey. Go sign up today. When Zach and I are busy working all day, every day, worrying about dinner is not something we have to do anymore. Green Chef has it covered. I get really bad anxiety when it comes to instructions or like something that has a lot of steps because I just get overwhelmed. Green Chef comes with literally pictured instructions, this step by step telling you exactly what to do down to like peeling a vegetable. It makes it so easy and makes the whole entire experience so enjoyable where I can genuinely enjoy the time cooking with Zach, which is something I thought I would never say. Green Chef has been a loyal part of my life for a couple years now, so I highly recommend you guys go try it. You could use my code TMI50 to get 50% off plus free shipping. Just go on over to greenchef.com. Again, use my code TMI50 for 50% off plus free shipping. Just Go on over to greenchef.com for more details. And of course, thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. Mm, I love you, thank you. Chuck a Yui. Chuck a Yui. Chuck a Yui. No, I no, know what that is. Throw the boomerang. That's where boomerangs come from, is Australia. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're in the car and you have to, I love you. You have to turn around really yes. quickly. Yes! You have to do a U turn. Yes. You have to do a U turn. We say you pull a U. Yeah, we say you chuck a U. Boomerangs aren't real. Yeah, they are. They don't actually work. They're a myth, I think. There's no way they come back. I've only ever seen it like in Looney Tunes. What about when someone says, I've got the shits? I have been shitting myself all day. Are we locking that in? I've got the shits? I say that every day. Okay, let me use the shits with Lily. I've had it up to here. When I say, yeah, no. Okay, what about if I say, I'm spewing? Uh, you just simply cannot shut the fuck up. Who guess? Who guess? Okay, it means I'm throwing ideas out there. Diarrhea. Hungry? Like she's throwing up, she's so upset she's Yes, the point is, it's like, I'm spewing. I'm spewing. I'm spewing, I didn't get a photo of it. How often do people say that? All the time. Okay, but if these are literal, like, like we're not using words. It seems like you guys replace a lot of words that you already know how to say them and their meaning with something else. Why make it more difficult? It's not more difficult, it shortens it, we're lazy. Why make it more difficult? What about bottle load? Bottle load. Bottle load. Okay, so let's take the O off bottle. Oh, oh, he's getting, he's getting the back there. What would a bottle load be? The bar. No. A fountain? What? Water bottle, bottle station filler. <laughs> Think about what the a bottle, bottle, so bottle, oh, bottle, bottle, a liquor store. Yes. What is crazy is the fact that you've just never heard these things before. Yeah, I like never even. So I feel yeah. like you say this yeah. too, but chewy, like a texture of food, like it's chewy. Yeah, it's like chewy. It's a tough situation. <laughs> It's a loosey goosey situation. Okay, don't send it. Chewy. Oh, like tobacco. <laughs> That's what I was just gonna say. Chewy. Chewing gum. Chewy. That chewing is gum. simply fucking gum. Stupid. Chewing gum, chewy. Chewy. Oh, the chewing gum. But, but you gum. chew it. Chewing gum. Well, that's an action, not a adjective. Do you know what? I feel like we're like hurting their minds. Like yeah. You're frying your brains right now. <laughs> what about <laughs> Eshe? I'm gonna need some spell in there. Eshe. 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 E S H A Y. E S H A Y. Because it's her, H. Do you say herb? Yeah, herb. Yeah, herb. How do you Why say the fuck would you herb, say herb. Herb. Oh, I hate how you fucking herb. say that. Herb. Herb. Why did you pronounce the H? The H, the H is there. The H is not silent. That is making because sense. Because H is, you're, you're adding the sound to the word. We all look so you disgusted with each other. You know, we are taught H. not to say H. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. teachers get so pissed off if you go H. They go, you know, American don't say that. What do you guys say for oregano? Oregano? That is wrong. Esky? It's okay. Yes, one of <laughs> esky? It's okay. No, esky. Put um, it in the esky. Keep put it, it cold. in the esky, keep it cold. From the fridge? The cooler. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, footy. What footy? Footy. Someone who like loves food, they post about food a lot. Footy. Oh, a onesie. Onesie pajamas with the zipper. <laughs> no, it's the, it's the little ottoman that your feet go on by the couch. Footy. Footy. Football. Yes! Yes! yes. Chuck, chuck a sticky. I might chuck a sticky. Just today. have a think about it. Oh, call out of work. Yeah! She lives in Wolf Wolf. Bump up nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Whinge. Dania. 
like no Georgia idea. had a whinge earlier. Oh, uh, uh, panic attack. Ben. A whinge <laughs> is like having a whine and like complain. Okay. She's whining. Last one. Devo. 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 Devastated. Yeah! I thought you said Devo. Yeah, they're bees and bees sound Yeah, like, I don't know how you read Let's get 100%. Pressure pick to bed. <laughs> She's off the bed now. Yeah. So. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, that's, that's the way it goes. Sometimes. Just goes like, like that sometimes. sometimes. My turn. Do something. <laughs> Horse a piece. 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 Means like fair enough. Okay. Well done. No. But like, listen, it's a horse piece. Oh, you, your, your eyes are bigger than your belly. No, me, but no. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way it goes. It's like a horse piece. Oh, okay. Probably. Cold turkey. Oh, like, like you're going for something oh, cold straight no, away. So <laughs> okay, I have one that's like for New York. Brick. Just a concrete block. No. A piece Brick. of a house. Wait, in context, he's built big, like no. square. No. Bricked up. Like, I've got an erection. No, but that is a thing. Oh, like brick, like period. Brick. No, like it's brick out. <laughs> oh, it's dark out? It's like ice cold outside. Okay, like brick. it's freezing outside. Okay, I think I have a really good one. Pleading the fifth. Oh. No. That's a <laughs> That's good one. That's so right? easy. She pled the fifth. Like she's, oh, she's like begging for it. Yeah. Oh, no. No, like she pled the fifth. But do you know what the fifth is? It's a fifth amendment, right? Yeah. yeah. So what is the fifth amendment? Um, oh, she pleaded not guilty or guilty? This is a very common phrase here. Like, she like oh, really she went pled. out on her story. She pled not guilty. I don't think it's about pleading. She pled the fifth. It is about pleading. Oh, oh, oh she, she pled her human rights. So like, it's you, literally we, nothing to do with fucking pleading. Yeah. I give up. So the fifth amendment is you have the right to remain silent, so like, you're not gonna say. So you don't oh, have to say anything. Like, you don't have to answer the question. Like, I'm zipping my mouth. For Americans, that's funny. I think that was the only- <laughs> My track coach used to call me a hundred your cactus. A what? Hundred year cactus. What Rusty. Because like, they, they retain a lot of water. You like, lost your virginity and you you you're hauling around. Since last year, like you really like had a glow up. No, you glowed down. No, he called me a hundred year cactus because I only do something good once every hundred years. Oh, because they the flower. the flower only blooms once every hundred years. Each arm of a cactus is a hundred years of growth. He also called me a dried up piece of driftwood. Well that I could see. What? We filmed a whole bunch of videos today where we were all way more coherent and awake over on their channel. So you guys should really go check those out. I love them. They're, they're our new besties and you guys are going to love them too. Make sure you go follow them. All of their links are going to be in the descriptions down below. Bye!